61A, lecture number 15, announcements. Homework five is due next Thursday. This homework is very long. Please, please, please start early. If you rush through it, if you get answers from other people instead of solving these questions yourself, if you don't give yourself an opportunity to understand how to solve these kinds of problems, then you're just setting yourself up for trouble later in the course. This is a really important homework. Please take the time to work through it carefully. Thank you. You can also revise your hog submissions based on the composition feedback that you received and earn back any lost composition points. You can't earn back points for correctness, but you can earn back all the points you lost for composition, which might have been one or two. Finally, I want to congratulate the past and present winners of the Hog Strategy Contest. This was completely optional. This semester we had three students, each enter individually and win the top three spots in the tournament. Those are Eric, Ziu, and Xu Hui. Congratulations to all of you and to everybody who participated in the Hog Strategy Contest. It was a very close contest this semester and it's cool to see so many people participating. The winner, Eric, shared with all of us this visualization of the final strategy that was used in the contest. It turns out that the game of Hog is complicated enough that just coming up with a list of rules about how to play is not as effective as letting the computer systematically explore all of the different possibilities. So this strategy was generated by just playing lots and lots of games under random strategies and figuring out which actions led to high win rates. As you can see, it learned some clever stuff. If your score is low and your opponent's score is about double your score, then it's time to figure out how to swap with them. That's why you see these long streaks of black and these very low rolls. If you're a little more than half their score, then you roll 10, hoping to get only one point at each turn and end up in this region where you can swap. If you're about double your opponent's score or triple or quadruple, you have to be a little bit careful about not having them swap with you. If you're near the end of the game and about to win, sometimes just by rolling zero, you can win the game, which is why we see these interesting pyramids of black at the bottom. And I think this region is about trying not to get swapped with when you have a high score and they have a very low score between 0 and 10. In any case, what we see here is a pretty interesting pattern with lots of different subtleties to it. And it's cool that you can compute this just by simulating the game in various ways. If you want to learn more about how to compute optimal strategies from games, the course you would take is the Artificial Intelligence course CS188 here on campus.